Hey up! Donald J. Ducky here. I'm sorry I've not been around for a little bit since that last video I did when I was in Holland. Right, but we're up more right, man. I go to supermarkets most days, as you all know, to get the knockdowns right. And I was going through the fruit and veg bit, and I saw this, this tray about that, so big like that, full of apples and bananas and oranges, and it said, free fruit, right, for your children. I'm not going any children, but I managed to nab myself a couple of apples. But what happened shortly, shortly after that, right, was I was continuing on the way to where I know where the knockdowns are, and I slipped on a banana skin. Classic comedy joke, you might think. Man slips on banana skin. But what happened more, right? Oh, I just went crashing down. I wasn't expecting it. Bang my head on the side of the, the new potatoes stand. Right, they went all over the place, little new potatoes bouncing all over the all over the place. And, and I'm not being unconscious. And when, when I come round, right, the store manager was there and a couple of the attractive young manager girls were there bending over me. Well, I tried not to look at the you know the bits and pieces, but you know, can't help yourself sometimes, can you? Anyway, they were bending over me asking me if I was alright, and I told them what had happened. The banana skin was still stuck to my foot, so it's pretty obvious. Anyway, they, they, they got me up on my feet and sat me down for a bit and then, and then I, I went on. But what happened was, I must have jarred me back because, you know, I couldn't walk for a few days afterwards. I was bed bound. That really annoyed me and you know why? Because all them other boggers who go to the supermarkets, right, to get the knockdowns, my competition, I suppose you might call them, were getting all them bargains while I were laid up in bed. Anyway, that's another story. I'm feeling a bit better now, so I'll just have to take it careful. So what I want to show you today is, right, something from my childhood, which is this packet. It's not an original thing from my childhood. It's a new one, right? Um, a packet of Kellogg's Variety. And we're up more <coughs> when we were, we were kids, right? Me and my two brothers and my sister, Alison, right, we'd all be round the table with, with my mum and dad and, and that, and mother and father, mother and father, whatever you want to call them, right, and, and the, although they tried to control us, there was quite a lot of, like, grabbing at the, at the packets that we wanted, so what you got, you got Cocoa Pops, right, you got Frosties, Rice Krispies and Kellogg's Corn Flakes, well no bugger wanted the Kellogg's Corn Flakes, they're all after the, after the Cocoa Pops, right, a bit of a Cocoa Pop hit, and my brother, Terry, right, I can't bloody stand him now, smart little git, right, um, is an adult now, of course, but I've not spoke to him for years. And you know why? Because he always, right, 150%, always used to grab the bloody Cocoa Pops first, right? And he'd sit there with a smirk on his face, like, wolfing them down. Right? None of us got a look in, right? It's caused a lot of resentment in the household, I tell you that, right? Alison, she doesn't even speak his name, right? It's Terra, I'll say it, but don't like him. Nasty mind, a little bugger he was. Always the same. Same when he grew up, right? Anyway, so that's it. So, little warning for you if you've got families and you buy these packets of Kellogg's varieties, just make sure that the kiddies don't start fighting over them. Because what will happen is later in life they'll have mental issues, right? I know it sounds silly, but it'll all start with the Cocoa Pops. Right, nearly finished. Short video today, so the other day, right, I was I was going through the, my cupboards and what I, what I found was, what I found was, um, I found a can of alphabet spaghetti, right, right at the back of the cupboards. It must have been there years. And I'm not one, right, to, to bother with, like, your know, use-by dates or anything like that. If it said, like, you know, 1973 on it, I'd still open it and give it a sniff and see if it's all right. Yeah, you can usually tell, you know, by giving things a bit of a, you know, it smells all right, and as, as long as there's no, like, blue fluff or anything like that, then usually, to my way of thinking, right, it, it's all right to eat. Anyway, I opened this tin of alphabet, alphabet spaghetti, expecting to see, you know, our alphabet, A, B, C, D, etc, right, but what I saw was like Russian 
alphabet. So God knows where I got this, this tenor, you know, alphabet, alphabet spaghetti from. God knows. Maybe I got given it by a neighbour or something, but it was, it was all in Russian. And when I put, right, when I made me toast, and I put the alphabet spaghetti, warmed through on the oven, right, on the toast, the letters started to rearrange themselves, which was a bit concerning, really, considering, you know, that they're just spaghetti in shapes, started to rearrange themselves into sayings by Lenin and Stalin, right, and, and a few by, by Gorbachev. So I, I couldn't eat this right. I'm not a communist and, and, and I don't believe in all that. And, and what I did was I just, I got the bin open, right, and I just swept the whole lot into, into, the, into the bin, dustbin, took it outside and chucked it in the dustbin there. And that's, never, never bothered with it again. But like, that's how my life is, you know, it's full of all these weird things that go on. Anyway, I've, I've gone on enough today, I'll, I'll leave that one with you. Just again, just a reminder in case you've forgotten, unlikely, but do not buy your children these Kellogg's variety packets because it will cause resentment throughout the rest of their lives. Whole families will fall out. And when there isn't any money coming from like dead parents or anything like that, you know, you can guarantee that Terry will still be there, still munching on his Cocoa Pops, waiting, you know, for his, for his bit of money, for the will and stuff. Anyway, I'm going on too much. All right, have a good day and, and watch out for them banana skins. All right. <laughs>